hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from matt wash and it's titled feminists love this viral video but here is why they shouldn't and you guys i'm super excited as always if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about now perhaps you've seen this viral video as it's been circulating online over the past several days in the video which has been viewed tens of millions of times on twitter and millions more on tiktok mm. We see a D1 female track star, Alana Sabakan, racing some random guy in sweatpants. And the random guy is apparently the track runner's boyfriend's friend. She tells us in the video, uh, the video of the race, which she narrated and posted to her TikTok account, that uh, the friend had challenged her to a race. And supposedly, according to her, the friend, quote, refused to believe that a woman could beat him in a race. So unsurprisingly, the woman did beat him in the race. And you know, she's a D1 track runner, and he's a guy with no experience in track who rolled off his couch and decided to race <laughs> this girl, apparently just for a laugh, and he lost, um, which is not a big surprise. Here's the video. I am a D1 Let track athlete. Let me tell you about this one time I, for some reason, raced my boyfriend's friend over 400 he meters. He refused to believe that a woman could beat him in a race. He does not run, but he challenged me to 400 meters. And I only agreed because I was doing a 400 workout already. So I was like, sure, join me. Then he ended up bringing both his parents, his family, his friends. And I was like, what the heck did I get myself into? But to narrate what went down, I just ran the first 200 meters with him. I just stayed with him. I'm not exerting myself for no reason. I have nothing to prove here. If you're crazy enough to challenge a 400, 800 athlete to a 400 race, that's on you. I'm not going to correct you. And then since he does not run at all, his lack of fitness really hit him hard after 200 meters. And I was like, okay, let me just go now. And then as you should always do, I finish hard because that's what you do as a track runner. And... This was also one of the reps of my 400 workouts. So I'm just doing my workout here. So yeah, there's me pushing hard. I actually felt some lactic. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so the gap was widening. And I actually ended up running 57 for this, which is pretty good for practice. <laughs> Now, uh, that video has been celebrated by feminists and trans activists <laughs> all over social media. They're very excited about it. The feminists see it as a great girl power moment mm -hmm. where a woman puts a man in his place. And the trans activists see it as proof that there's no real difference between the sexes and there's no reason why biological males shouldn't be able to compete against women. Um, now, in fact, as I will explain, the video is actually an embarrassment for both groups. It does not make their case. It undermines it. But don't tell that to the media, which has been fawning all over this story as well. Alana's race against the random dude has been reported by dozens of media outlets. Uh, Today.com published an interview with the runner, which so they because they felt like they had to interview her. And uh, just reading part of it, here's what it says. A man who challenged Division I track and field athlete Alana Sabakan to a, a foot race was swiftly defeated in a viral video that illustrates why female athletes should never be underestimated. Saba Khan, 22, tells Today.com that when she first heard murmurings that her boyfriend's friend thought he could outrun her, she found it ridiculous. But when she was already set to work out at a nearby track, she asked if he wanted to join. He didn't really know what to challenge me in, she says. He was like, yeah, I could beat her in the 400, not realizing that that was one of the hardest track events and that was one of my secondary events. Alana, whose main event is the 800 meter race, finished the 400 meters in 57 seconds, which was, quote, pretty good for practice, she said in the video. Her personal best times are 53 seconds for a 400 meter leg of a relay and 54 seconds in an open race. Mm. Wow, you guys, I don't see why the media is glamorizing her win when she is a trained athlete. Is the guy supposed to like atron her? Because I don't understand. He's not even a trained athlete. And because he's a man does not mean that he has to win the race. I don't know why people don't use their senses anymore. This woman has obviously been training for the better part of her life. And I can bet you that that guy hasn't even had any form of training when it comes to track racing. And her winning on that track does not mean that she has done something astronomical. doesn't mean that she has done something strange that it has never been seen or that's never been heard. Because this is a profession. She trains every day. So she is expected to win. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Do you think that the media is 
over glamorizing this woman for doing what she normally does and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below i'm having fun reacting to this video and i can't wait for matt watch to give his review on this one and you guys let's continue now okay wait just a minute here she said that she barely exerted herself and ran a 57 against the guy but she also says that her personal best is a 53 so running a 57 when your absolute personal best is only four seconds faster than that yeah. means that you were definitely exerting mm -hmm. yourself okay don't like this was not a casual jog uh if your best is a 53 and you run the 400 and under 60 then you you were trying okay you, you were definitely trying but we'll get back to that in a moment. The Today, the, uh, Today article now veers off into a kind of woe is me tale of men disrespecting female athletes. And this we're supposed to believe is uh, a real epidemic. Quote, it was far from the first time Saba Khan, who started running when she was five See, years old, five years. had been challenged to a race by a man. Hmm. Quote, ever since I was younger, a lot of guys would want me to race them on the playground because they thought that they could beat me, she says. Early reactions to the video suggest to Saba Khan that this was a universal experience. Quote, a lot of women were saying that they experienced that a lot, mainly men trying to challenge them in their sport or talent or whatever they do, she says. In fact, 12% of men in Great Britain think that they could score a point playing tennis against Serena Williams, according to a 2019 poll conducted by uh, YouGov UK, which sampled uh, 1,732 adults. Saba Khan eventually turned off comments on the, the TikTok page after it stirred controversy, with some turning it into a debate over whether men or women are better athletes. Okay, I'm, I have to confess I'm a little confused here. I mean, what was the point of that tidbit about 12% of men in Great Britain thinking they can score a point against Serena Williams? 12% is a very small number. So uh, if the premise here is that men are overconfident in their athletic abilities and always disrespecting female athletes, so much so that this is a universal experience for women, then 12% doesn't really make the case. Mm. I mean, twelve percent is hardly universal. And also, by the way, like a a a certain portion of that twelve percent of men probably could score a point against Serena Williams. That's not true. not maybe not beat her, but score a point. So this article is stepping all over the point it's trying to make, which is consistent with the pattern that we see emerging here. Let's go back to the video. This is a highly trained D1 female track star running hard enough that she finishes with a time four seconds off of her personal best, and yet she only beats some random dude off the street by, it would appear, like five seconds at most. Um, which which in, in a track race, like if you're actually racing track, uh, uh, five seconds is a pretty good amount. But Keep in mind that the only thing the man has going for him is that he is a man. He's not a runner. He's not an athlete. Yeah. He's not trained. Exactly. He has no experience mm -hmm. with track and field. Mm -hmm. He's just a guy. And that's it. He doesn't even have and that alone was enough to keep him within striking distance of a D1 female track athlete. Exactly. Now, just to kind of make the point clear. Imagine how this race would look the other way. Okay, imagine some random woman off the street challenging a D1 male track athlete to a 400 meter race. <laughs> it, 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 it wouldn't. He, she would not come within five seconds. Of course, okay, she would yeah. not be. Uh, uh, they would not be on the same straightaway on mm -hmm. the track at the same time. Like it wouldn't happen. She would be in The guy would country. be crossing the finish line mm -hmm. while the woman had barely made it halfway around the track at exactly. best. Exactly. Yeah. In fact, we can make it even easier for the and woman in this hypothetical scenario. So imagine a D1 female track runner challenging a D1 male track runner. And for that, we don't yeah. need to resort to hypotheticals because the truth mm -hmm. can be seen in the numbers. So let's go mm -hmm. back to the uh, 2023 NCAA Outdoor Track Championships, which happened in June. Wow, you guys. I just have to come in from here because, like I said earlier, the, what the woman did is not rocket science because if she was actually competing against a D1 male athlete, then you all would have seen that there is really, really a difference between a male and a female athlete. It's not rocket science to know that male athletes are stronger than a female athlete. If this race was between a male D1 runner and a female 
the one runner you see the difference in their track record because the man would have finished way before her and feminists will still have a way of blaming the man at the end of the day so let me know what you guys think about this video so far and let's wrap this video up the winning male runner in the 400 event finished with a time of 44.24 seconds which is nearly 10 seconds faster than alana's best time um or twice as, as much as she beat the other guy by. The guy who finished eighth in that uh, championship uh, match had a time of 45.3, mm. which is nine seconds faster. But, I mean, let's be fair. Uh, Alana doesn't claim to be a Division I champion. She just says she's a Division I you know, runner. So let's compare those times to the actual female champions. First place among the women finished with a time of 49.2. Mm. So if you're keeping track at home, that means that the fastest woman on the track was four seconds slower than the guy who finished eighth. But it gets better. The women's world record for the 400-meter dash, okay, the fastest time ever recorded by any woman ever in history, is 47.6 seconds. And that record has stood in place since 1985. Wow. For nearly 40 no years, the fastest time by any woman anywhere in the world ever is 47.6. Hmm. Which means that the eighth place finisher for the men in the NCAA championships in 2023 beat the women's world record by two seconds. Oh my gosh. But it gets better still. Wow. Because the, the women's record was set by a German runner named uh, Marita Cook. And Cook has long been suspected of using steroids. Okay. 47.6 seconds, two seconds slower than the college kid who finished eighth among the men last June, <laughs> is seen as so unattainable for women and has proven so impossible for any other woman to even come close to beating wow. that it's assumed, probably correctly, that it was achieved with the help of performance-enhancing wow. drugs. But we still aren't done. Okay, Alana's personal best, again, is 53 seconds. Um, we've already established that she would get uh, totally annihilated by her male college counterparts, only, we don't even need to limit it to college. Alana attends the University of Virginia. And just for fun, I went to check the times for Virginia high school runners. And so here, for example, are the results for the boys' 400-meter race at the Class 6 State High School Championships last year. Okay, First place finished in 48.1 seconds. See, better than which, her. fun fact, would have been fast enough to win the gold medal in the women's 400-meter race at the Tokyo Olympics. Exactly. This is a high schooler. 17th place among the high school boys finished at 51.33, which means Steve that Alana, on her her. very best day, <laughs> would not finish mm -hmm. in the top 17 among high school boys wow. in her state. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So to review, the fastest high school boy in Virginia is faster in the 400 meter race than the woman who won the gold medal in the event at the last Olympics. And the fastest college male is significantly faster than the woman who set the world record for her gender, a record that has proven so untouchable for four decades that oh, most people is. assume she was on drugs. And Alana is slower than all of them, though she's still pretty fast, you know, fast enough to beat some random guy off the street by four or five seconds. So what does this all prove? Well, it proves that uh, basically exactly the opposite of what the feminists and trans activists we're hoping to prove with this story. Mm. It proves instead that men and women are very different very, and very men different. are vastly superior yeah. in almost mm -hmm. every sport, which is why men and women should not compete against each other in those sports. Men are faster and mm -hmm. stronger than women on average, a lot faster and stronger, a whole hell of a lot faster and stronger, so much so that no woman in history, even ones hopped up on steroids, have run a 400 time that would have placed them in the top eight at the NCAA Men's Championship last mm -hmm. June. So uh, there's no competition here. At all. Like there's nothing to mm -hmm. talk about, though we are still forced to talk about it. We shouldn't have to talk about it, all things being equal. I would rather not spend my time explaining that men are better than women at sports. I would rather not have to go and pull up all of these like times and information and provide actual citations just to prove a thing that everybody in the world has known until three seconds ago. And, and so we could end this conversation. We could all move on. 
if you people, you on the left, would just stop with the nonsense already exactly. and simply admit what cannot be mm-hmm. denied. As long as you're running around making idiotic claims about how men and women are the same and men have no biological advantages, they do have. then the sane among us will be forced to continue correcting you. We can't simply allow your idiocy to go unchallenged. So cut the crap and drop the act. Admit that men are faster than women and men are stronger than women. Men are not women. Admit it or we will be compelled to continue embarrassing you, as I have just been forced to do here again. (laughs) And just remember, as this happens, that it's all your fault and also that you are today canceled. Wow, you guys, that was some really, really deep one. And I love the way Matt Walsh did his analysis because it's not very, very clear that men and women are totally different in every area of life and shouldn't even be brought close to each other when it comes to sport because the physical power of a man is not the same as a woman. Imagine a high schooler record still beats that no other woman has been able to beat even after 40 years. It's very, very obvious that men and women are truly truly different and it doesn't need a rocket science to see that this is true and you guys what are your thoughts on this one i really agree with everything matt was said i love his sense of humor so so much and i love the way he throws jokes here and there while giving his analysis i could listen to him all day for real and i wouldn't even get tired of it let me know what you guys think about this video so far and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys